The government has offered financial and household support to over 190 victims of the Huruma collapsed building tragedy that killed at least 52 people. The support includes three months' rent, household items, food and books for school-going children during a ceremony attended by Nairobi Women Representative Rachel Shabesh and Senator Mike Sonko. Cabinet Secretary for Public Service, Youth and Gender, Cicely Karaoke, who addressed the victims, urged Nairobi residents to vacate all hazardous buildings to avoid a similar disaster. We need then each one of us to do what it is we can do to help the families who have survived to be back on their feet as the shortest time possible. And that is why the items and the donations which are coming your way today, we do hope, will help you to come back on your feet again. But uh, I've also had a very specific request here. Uh, this hall is full of everyone else but more mothers, uh, from what I see. Uh, the national government has, in its wisdom, set aside funds which are supposed to be accessed by women, such as the ones here, under the Women Enterprise Fund again, which is under my ministry. We only require, with agreement from the leaders in this community, to help them to move into self-help groups so that they can access these resources. And we put this on a fast track. Senator Songa, who also offered financial support to the victims, has vowed to take legal action against the county government for negligence. To taxi serikali ya county kwa negligence. Jami zimewacha na wapendwa wao, tutaenda kotini kuitisha compensation. Wale wagonjwa wa hospitali hawajajiumiza. Watu wamekufa hawajakujua. Here is Yvonne Chiang who lost five of her family members in the tragedy that occurred last week. <laughs> My mom, my sister, niece and nephew, and I'm strong. Say me kwangumu ngumu kabisa. Amanita Ndere for Capital TV.